If you're watching this video, then you've succeeded where many others have failed. Congratulations, you're an excellent agent. You're selling more than $10 million worth of real estate, which is a complete rarity in this business. That's right, over a million and a half realtors exist in the United States, and that number is declining, simply because it's highly improbable for agents to do what you've done. Now, the question is, what's going on in your life? What's going on in your work life? You see, if you were like me, and you got to that point where you were selling more than 10 million, and in my case, more than $20 million worth of real estate personally, not including my team, then you've probably faced some of these problems. You've scaled to the point where the influx of leads sometimes feels unmanageable. The amount of text messages entering in, oh my gosh, can you come sell my property? Hey, I'd love to see this house, gets pretty daunting. You think to yourself, I wish I had a break. You try to hire an assistant or maybe you get somebody on board, but of course they end up leaving, there's not enough tasks for them, it's a full-time job in order to manage somebody and it feels really daunting. You're constantly resetting to your lowest system, which is typical of any business and it's really scary. You want the production level, and in fact, you've probably even gotten used to the lifestyle of the amount of income, but you don't see a way out. You've earned so much money in this business, but you barely see your family as much as you like to. It's hard to take a break, and every time you take a vacation, your laptop goes with you. If that's you, then you're not alone. You were like me, and if you're watching this video, there's hope. I got into this business 15 years ago. I was a real estate appraiser and I saw so many efficiencies that were happening inside of the real estate space. These great real estate agents were making hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not over a million dollars a year, but had very few systems involved. I'm talking about systems that allowed someone to actually step away from their business and have the organization run without them there. Now, you're not at the spot where you maybe need to implement a CRM or need to get a great client follow-up program involved, but you may be at the position where it's time to build an organization organization that truly runs without you. Think about this, an attorney when they have an attorney's office has partners that get involved within the process so that the business runs beyond them. They have an option to actually retire from that business. They have an option to actually build an organization that if they went away for a few days, a week, a month, then what would happen? It would still run. Ask yourself this question, can the business run without you present for an extended period of time? I remember for myself, I had to take a leave of absence from my business for three weeks. I think it was actually four weeks. And I had to go away with my family. And I was able to do that because my business had actually grown. Recently, I've been able to step away for numbers of weeks at a time with the birth of my new baby son. Having systems in place like this and an organization that was bigger than just myself allowed me to do that. If you're a real estate agent who's thought to themselves, maybe I want to start a team or maybe I want to grow something that's a little bit bigger that allows my business to run for me to earn income even after and while I'm not present, then I'd love for you to take a look below for more information as to why an excellent agent like yourself may be a good fit to run a team inside of an organization like ours. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.